Hi everyone, this is Eileen here from SingaporeOLevelMax.com. Today, I'll be sharing with you on differentiation. It is a very important topic in additional math. We'll be talking about the really basic things to get you started in differentiation. Let us now take a look. Now, the first example that I'm going to share with you is how do we go ahead and differentiate constant. For example, if we need to differentiate 1, what answer will you get? It will be... 0. Now what happens if you need to differentiate 10? What do you get? It is 0. So we have been talking about positive numbers so far. What happens when you need to differentiate a negative number like negative 1? What were the answer that you'll be getting? 0. And how about differentiation of negative 100? The answer will be 0 again. Now in general, if we need to differentiate any constant by itself, what answer do we get? We will be getting 0. That's right. Let us now move on to the next slide. What happens right now if you need to differentiate x term? For example, differentiation of x will give you 1. Differentiation of 5x, 5. Differentiation of minus x, minus 1. And differentiation of minus 5x, minus 5. So, in summary, to differentiate any x term, for example, ax, your answer will be a. I hope all of you is able to follow so far. Let us move on. What happens when you need to differentiate x squared term? Now, this will be a little bit different now. How do we go about differentiating of x squared? First thing first, power front. So I'll bring the 2 to the front. Power reduced by 1. So from 2 minus 1, so it becomes 1. So it's just simply 2x. Let us move on. What happens when we have a number in front of your x squared term? This is what you do. You just simply copy down the 3. Focus your attention on differentiating x squared. When you differentiate x squared, just like what we have done earlier on, it's just power front, power reduced by 1. From 2, it becomes 1. So our answer will be 6x. By the same logic, if you have a negative x squared, what do you do? You can just simply copy down the negative sign. Focus your attention on differentiating of x squared, so that will give us 2x. Final answer will be negative 2x. Alright, the last example, differentiate minus 3x squared. Since it's a constant being multiplied to x squared term, you just simply copy it down. Ask yourself, what do I get when I differentiate x squared? So it's just 2x. Final answer, negative 6x. In summary, what do we get when we differentiate ax squared? Copy down a. Ask yourself, what do I get when I differentiate x squared? So the answer is just simply 2x. To simplify it further, it's just 2ax. I hope the three concepts are relatively easy for everyone before we can move on, on to the techniques. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to go to the website and leave me a comment. Or if you want to search for other max tips or strategies, you can go to SingaporeOLevelMax.com. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.